Hey everybody, this is your leadership coach Glastine with another message that could take your leadership to the next level. On this episode, I am going to be giving you three tips on how to be an effective communicator. I'll see you in a sec. Welcome back. You know, a great leader once told me, just because you said it, doesn't mean they heard it, doesn't mean they'll believe it, then doesn't mean they'll do it. And when I heard those words, I was like, wow, that was genius to me. Because I've always wanted to understand as a leader, how to get people to take action. And today's video, on today's video, I want to share with you the three tips that really help me to understand how to get people to take action. Because as leaders, we want to get people moving, right? So here we go. Number one, what do you want them to know? What do you want them to know? You have a vision, you have a goal, you have an idea. What do you want them to know about that vision? What do you want them to know about that idea that you have? You want to get to the point where you take that idea, that vision out of your mind and transfer it into their minds. So it's clear. So no one walks out of that meeting trying to figure out what was the vision? What was the idea? You know, no one is confused. You want to you want to be clear about that. Let's say you're an entrepreneur and and you too have this vision or or this product or this service that you're that you that you want them to invest in. What do you want them to know about that product? What do you want them to know about that service? You have to be really clear on that. And the best way that I found to be very clear about that is to practice before you get in front of your audience. Practice at home, wherever, but take some time and practice communicating what you want them to know about that product. And that leads me to tip number two. How do I want them to feel? How do you want them to feel? I mean, really ask yourself that. And you got to you gotta come ready for this one. How do you want your team to feel? How do you want your family member to feel? How do you want your boss to feel? Do you want people to feel... Um, inspired? Do you want them to feel motivated? I tell you, sometimes when I go in front of my team and I, and, 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 and I just, you know, uh, uh, um, shared with them my vision and everything, I want them to feel, I want them to feel inspired. I want them to feel motivated. I want them to feel like, like they're ready to go. And so I'm motivated and I'm hyped and I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place, man. But you know, but, but, but they get it. They feel it. They feel, they feel like they're part of the vision. They feel that I care about their vision, their goals, and I've incorporated, um, their goals into, 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 into the, the company's organization's vision. And, and it takes a lot of homework and, but man, it, it, it is worth it when, when you can when you can share a vision with some with a team or with your family and everyone feels included and and and, and you got to get this one you know sometimes what i what i also do is that i'll different colors convey different emotions right you know i'll i think i think blue um you know, uh, conveys trust and so i'll wear a light blue trust like i'm wearing like i'm wearing right now because blue conveys trust or I wear white, um, a white shirt or something like that. But you know, it's, it's, it's everything I get, I get all into it. How do you want them to feel? And I think this second one 
we miss it as leaders because you know in corporate uh, you know we don't want to be too touchy feely you know what i mean so 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 we just kind of skip that one it, we go from what do we want them to know what what do we want them to know to what do we want them to do and you know it doesn't go like that you people you're dealing with people you're dealing with re, um, um um relationships and people have feelings and you have to take that into account when you're delivering a message to your audience. Now, last and finally, number three, tip number three. What do you want them to do? What is it that you want them to do? What action do you want them to take? You know, I want them to take, when I convey my, my vision, at at the at the office, I want them to take that vision and just just run with it. I want people to um, give me some ideas um, that that can that can that can help help with that vision. Help me with that vision, or give me some give me some give me some ideas that I I didn't think about that I can incorporate in the vision. What do you want them to do? Like as an entrepreneur, you might have a product or a service that you want them to sell. I mean, that you want them to invest in. You know, we don't we don't sell. We we offer investments as entrepreneurs, right? So what 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 do you want them to do? And you have to tell them. One of the things that I've noticed is that you you just can't. You, you, you just have to give people something. You just have to tell them what to do. What action do you want them to say to, to do next? You have to do that because they won't do it. They won't do it. They won't do it. It's like having a YouTube video, right? You have to tell your audience to click on that subscribe button, give me, give me a thumbs up, and comment below. You have to say that because... People are so focused on what you're saying, your your thoughts and ideas, that they can easily forget um, to take action. And so you have to come with with that with that action for them and say, "Hey, I need you to do X, Y, and Z." You don't you don't leave it to chance. You tell them what to do. So what do you want them to do? You want them to take action. So there you have it, folks. Those are my three tips for effectively communicating with your audience. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, I mean smash that like button and don't forget that notification bell and share this with friends and family. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.